Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for Australia here, and I want to show you how to make an animated GIF inside of Photoshop CC 2015. Okay, now I've already created one earlier, and so I'm just going to play this and uh, hit the, the play button in the timeline panel here. If you can't see your timeline panel, you may just need to just uh, click on that to open it up. And then I'll hit the play button, and we'll see this young woman uh, spinning. Okay, it's actually constructed from eight still images uh, that were captured using a tripod. Now I'll just uh, stop this and we'll close the file and I'll show you how I've made this file from scratch. So we'll just close this one and now we'll come down to File and instead of coming to Open, we're going to come down to Scripts and we're going to come across to Load Files into Stack. Now we have my eight still images that I prepared. Okay, they're going to be screen resolution images. We're not going to be creating animated GIFs from 24 megapixel files here. So you are going to need to going to crop these still images down to a, a, a usable size. Uh, I would suggest with a height of no more than 600 pixels here. So we're going to load files into stack. I'm going to browse to the folder that I where I prepared my still images from. And uh, so this is going to be um, uh, in my GIF folder here and I'll select all of these eight images and then uh, select open. Now Photoshop is going to load these into one single file. Now if you think that you may have bumped your tripod in the capture of these still images you can uh, check this attempt to automatically align source images here and that will uh, align the content uh, so the animated GIF plays smoothly. Okay so now we'll select uh, OK and now we can see that uh, we have uh, one of the images um, appearing. Uh, this is the top frame here. Now in order to create the, the animated GIF, we're going to have to come to the timeline panel and click on the create frame animation. Okay, this will create our first frame automatically. Uh, we can create the, uh, the subsequent frames by coming to this uh, flyout menu here and then choosing make frames from layers. Each layer will become one frame inside of this GIF animation. Now at the moment it's only going to play once by default so the young woman will just spin once there and then stop. We can change that to uh, three times or forever or specify a number of times that we want this young woman to spin for. So we're just going to choose forever and then I'm going to select all of the frames. I'll hold down the shift key and then select on the last frame and we're going to set the timing uh, to a 0.1 seconds in this instance. You can speed up or slow down your animation by choosing your own time here. I want uh, to spin quite quickly so I'm choosing the shortest duration here, 0.1 seconds. Now if I hit the play button uh, you'll see the young woman spins and spins and spins again. Okay, so at the moment uh, we haven't created the GIF animation. This is uh, just a multi-layered uh, file here. We should save our master file off as a PSD. So we'll just come to File, Save As, and then we can save our master file back into the resource file here, or I could choose the desktop, and I'll just pour, uh, call it my GIF file here, uh, or my GIF2, because I've created one earlier. So we'll just uh, save that off. Okay. Now we're going to create our animated GIF that we can actually upload to the web. Uh, web browsers uh, will happily play these animated GIFs. We can even attach them to emails as well. So we can send uh, little animations to our friends via mail. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come down to File. Now if you're working with a previous version such as CC 2014 or older versions, you'll see a Save for Web here. Now in CC 2015, it's been stacked inside of the Export uh, menu here and uh, it's now called Save for Web uh, brackets Legacy. Okay, so we're going to choose that option. And uh, in the options here, we're going to select the GIF option there. Now, I would recommend using the maximum number of colors to get a smooth gradation. We're not working with um, uh, millions of colors like we're working here with JPEG files. One of the um, uh, quality restrictions here is we're going to work with just 256 colors. So you may see some uh, banding or stepping in smooth areas such as sky. So we definitely want to uh, choose a dither option here. Um, uh, and we also uh, choose a, um, we can choose 
choose different uh, color palettes such as perceptual or selective or adaptive. I probably would uh, stick to adaptive uh, for now. Okay, we can reduce the size of our animated GIF. Obviously, very large GIFs will uh, tend to uh, load a little bit more slowly in web browsers before they will play. Okay, um, they will play quite quickly on a desktop computer, however, or a laptop. Okay, so all I need to do now is uh, make sure also you've selected convert to sRGB, otherwise you may notice a shift in your colors when it's playing in a web browser. You don't really want to be working in one of the larger color spaces like Adobe RGB. So just remember to uh, convert this to sRGB if needed. And then I'll hit uh, save. And again I'll save this onto the desktop and hit save. Okay. Now I can, uh, let's just uh, collapse this uh, um, Photoshop panel here. Let's come to a web browser such as uh, Safari here. And now we can just uh, drag our animated GIF into our web browser and you can see that uh, it plays um, very well. Now we can upload this and have it included on uh, websites or we could just uh, email them to our friends as I said. So there's a quick overview in just a couple of minutes of how to create uh, an animated GIF.